I've got Carly here who will be assisting me as well. Um, today we're diving into exciting world of teaching with group dynamics. Before we get started, before we get started, I just want to go over some housekeeping items. Today's session is being recorded. A link to the recording will be sent to all attendees before the end of the week, along with the slide deck that I'm sharing today with you guys. And a bonus for you all, our, buyer, our new buyer's guide for Google EDLA boards. All attendees must be present for the entire session to be entered in a drawing to win one of our three $100 Amazon gift cards. Woohoo! Uh, we also encourage everyone to be engaged during the session. Uh, feel free to enter your comments or questions in our chat box, and we will do our best to answer them during the presentation, or we will definitely open the floor for a Q&A at the end. So with that, with that, let's get started. Uh, we start off the year with uh, attending FETC and TCA, TCEA shows, and the buzz was all around the EDLA boards. Um, we also debuted our Go new Google EDLA certified BenQ board um, model, our PO4. Um, I have to tell you, we had a great response from both our teachers and IT staff members who uh, came to our booth and experienced and uh, watched the demos or had like a hands-on on the on the boards. They were quite impressed and we were really happy to see the feedback that we got. We also had a chance to um, see firsthand what's out there in the market as well. Um, one thing's for sure, what we learned which we kind of already knew that our users, which are which are our teachers and our IT members, they love our boards. And there are many reasons for that. <laughs> um, just to name a few, we it's we have the NF uh, the the tap and teach um, NFC cards that gets you logged in immediately to get ready to teach. Then we have our suite of subscription free software and most of all, the most popular one is the Easy White, uh, Easy Write whiteboarding software. Seems like um, seems like there's something for everyone to enjoy um, that excites our about our uh, BenQ boards. Uh, let's. Did you all know that our NFC sensor is multifunctional? You can use the tap tap in feature to log in with your NFC card. You can use the tap in feature with the pen to launch your easy right whiteboarding. And this is this is new. The NFC card also allows you to use your Android phone to share your screen. We also have um, the BenQ board also comes with free to use uh, management software like the DMS, which allows our IT staff to onboard hundreds of devices in batches. It allows the it allows them to manage all boards remotely and also provide comprehensive analytics through our user-friendly dashboard as well, which I know that the IT staff really loves. We also, along with that, have software, educational software, just like I mentioned, the Easy Write 6, which enables teachers mm -hmm. and gives teachers the freedom to teach their way and have an engaged classroom with their students. Let's talk about our hardware on the board, on the new RPO4 boards. Um, it comes with the latest Android system, the latest generation processor, which makes our boards super fast with running all those apps and interactive features. We also have a five-in-one USB-C port in the front of the board, 
that allows uh, convenience to use uh, to charge your laptop or use other features <laughs> from there. The audio is quite impressive as well. It has two 20 watt speakers in the front and a built in eight array microphone, which allows teachers to record their lessons from anywhere in the classroom. The board has up to 50 touch points, which allows you to give a very natural writing feeling experience with our boards. All of our boards, uh, touch screens, pens, remote control have antimicrobial coating and, germ and they are germ resistant as well for a healthy classroom environment. The board also has um, ionizer in the front that allows um, to improve air quality in your classroom as well. We also have our boards with iSafe certification, which is the first and only board having that. Um, it protects our eyes from the blue light as well. Uh, late last year, we did an industry analysis and conducted a survey that went out to both IT directors and teachers from across the country. And it uh, reaffirmed that both the teachers and IT directors love working in Chrome browser, um, which makes our mm. RPO4 model the perfect match for teaching your way. Here's a quick look of what our board looks like once you log in with your credentials. It gives the, the really friend, user friendly feel. I've got everything labeled here that you can look at as well. Uh, now let's look, uh, take a closer look at the easy write software that everyone loves. And we have enhanced our easy write software uh, whiteboard uh, with more AI tools to make it more user friendly and um, more practical, more practical for teaching as well. It's a great game changer. Um, it has it has features like OCR, which is the optical character recognition. What this does is you can select an image with text from from a Chrome browser or a document, put it on Easy Write. And it will allow um, the the this T icon on there will uh, when you select that it will convert the text into editable text. This way you can manipulate it, <laughs> change it, or do what you like with it. Uh, the text to um, speech feature uses AI to read on screen text aloud for the class for you as well. So that comes very handy, especially when you're reading, um, doing reading lessons with the class. Um, the text to translate feature is also very handy where you can select any text and mm -hmm. translate it to any language of your choice as well. You can write on your hand, write free write on your board and that and then select it and convert that into an edit editable text as well. So that's also an AI feature, which comes pretty handy. Um, our EasyWrite uh, whiteboarding software is compatible with Android, Windows devices, and even Mac. And the EasyWrite also works very well with most of the popular browsers out there that you're accustomed to use. The Easy Write lets you pull up Google Classroom lessons directly onto the whiteboard as well. It also gives you the freedom to send announcements, important lessons, and import lessons and manage permissions through the whiteboard once you're logged in into your Google Classroom. These are just some of the features that the whiteboard uh, Easy Write offers. Um, we're going to now share a quick video that Francisco and Ryan 
uh, our FAEs have put together that will go and show you our easy, uh, easy write software in action. Let's take a quick look at that. And then we will open the floor video. It's gonna show you um, a little more um, our board in action and also walk you through some of the easy write features that I just talked about. Hi, Francisco Flores here with BenQ. Now, I know you may be familiar with our previous generation boards like our RPO3. Today, I'm here to show you some of the features of our latest and greatest RPO4. A little bit about the hardware. Um, the RPO4 board is actually equipped with a processor that's almost twice as fast as the previous RPO3. We also have new, more powerful speakers, a pair of 20 watt speakers and that 16 watt subwoofer built into our speaker bar here. We also have the front facing USB-C port, which is now capable of up to 100 watts of power delivery. All right, so I want to dig into a little bit about what the board is offering on the software side. Now we still have our NFC login, but now we have the added feature of being able to store local information for up to 10 users at a time. The most recent 10 users will be able to log in and have access to all of their information uh, that they've been using previously on the board um, through some of the different app logins and things like that. So once we log into the board, we're going to take a look at our home screen. Now we still have access to customize our home screen background. Um, so we can have a district or campus branded background here. Teachers can set one if you would like them to. We also have the ability still to add apps to our home screen. Um, now, however, you're able to put them anywhere on screen. We can also have our most recent or most more favorite um, used apps right here in the bottom in an app doc, kind of like your personal computer, Mac device. You'll have all access to all those here. We also have the app launcher, the waffle at the bottom, which still takes you to all of our apps, our widgets, and our bookmarks. All of those loaded through our AMS backend services. One thing to point out is now this is an EDLA certified board. What that means for you is now you have access to the complete suite of Google Apps along with the Google Play Store, which means all of your Google Apps now run native on our board, which is powered by Android 13. So all of my apps down here are the Google Apps most commonly used in the classroom, including Google Drive. So now when I open my Google Drive, this is native to the board. All these apps, all these files, all of this information can now be accessed directly from the board and open in its native app. So when I launch a Google Slide slide deck, it opens in our Google Slide app on the board. Now that is native. No additional hardware purchases are required. This is all built into our panels. So here is the Google Slide Deck. I present my Google Slide Deck, present on this display itself. Right. So I can load it, speaker note style. I can take those out. I can add audience Q&A. So many different options with these Google apps now that they are 100% native to our board. You also have the full-fledged Chrome browser. Which is syncable. And searchable. Just like Google. Now, coming back from before, we also have our EasyWrite whiteboard software. But now, we have some updates to further enhance instruction in the classroom. Here in the toolbox, you'll notice there are a few new options that you may not have seen before. 
So we have our Google Chrome. And it launches that recent browser session that I had open. If I come over to my image search, I've got these little guys right here. So let's take this guy. We're going to go ahead and drag him, slide him over to my whiteboard presentation. This is a dual split window that is resizable. So if I want to make sure I have enough space on my lesson, I can still have access to my Chrome browser right here. All right, so now I want to take this picture. Let's go ahead and add a poem to this. Slide this over so we can see a little bit more of the search results. So these are different search results. Let's try this one. Take a look at it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's do the same thing. Press and hold, drag it over. I'm going to just go ahead and open the whiteboard up full size. All right, so I mentioned some of these new features earlier. One thing that I want to point out here, this little T with the little corner brackets around it, if I press that button, that's our OCR, or optical character recognition, that pulls all of the text out of this image and gives it to me in this text box. But it doesn't stop there. This is now accessible with our new text-to-speech option. I like dogs, big dogs, little dogs, old dogs, puppy dogs, a dog that is... Latest and greatest built into our RPO4 with the OCR and text-to-speech. This takes daily instruction in the classroom to a whole new level, ensuring that we provide you with the latest and greatest features so that you and your teachers. All right. Um, I hope you guys uh, found that video useful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open our, our session for Q&A. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Ryan and Francisco our um, presenter to be able to take live questions. All right, we've had quite a few questions that have come in so far. <clears throat> Christina um, asked, "Does this work with the older models of the BenQ board?" Ryan and Francisco. Uh, this does not work with the older model. This is the new generation of EDLA. Uh, there's some similarities with uh, with EasyWrite, but when it comes to anything with Google integration, um, that's the separation. You still have the option for logging into multiple boards. Uh, you still have the backend management with the DMS, um, but there's a little a uh, little bit difference with the uh, with EDLA certification um, than just any board that's ever been out there on the market. Okay, we had another question, Ryan, are you still there? Yes. Okay, we had another question. Basically, we have a lot of people who are asking, saying they use like one of our previous models where it's the 01K, the 03, whatever, and they're just asking regarding the boards if the Google integration is available. So um, how would you best break the answer down that you just explained a second ago? So this is uh, just kind of simply that the uh, all the boards that are manufactured um, through us now are are just getting a Google certification with the Android 13 chips that are built inside of the actual board. Um, the other boards that don't have those particular chips, uh, they cannot be upgraded to the new Android software, and therefore cannot be uh, certified with by Google. So we're kind of at the mercy of them. Um, if you uh, I mean, a lot of the boards like the RP02s, the 03s, they can support the EasyWrite 6 functionality and all of the BenQ services. It's just that one, uh, you know, the, the Play Store and the Google integration that you're not able to get unless you, um, uh, you know, get the RP04 board uh, model. 
So it's kind of like just getting a it's getting the newest car with the newest bells and whistles. The older car didn't support it in the past, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't let you swap out parts. Correct. Um, perfect. We had another question saying, do the existing boards support all the features of Easy Ride Six? Uh, it depends on which model. Um, the um, the RP zero threes support about ninety percent of that. There's a couple of the uh, split screen options that that are not existent. Uh, inside of the easy right but it does have all the new tools um, and uh, it does um, you know there's the board there's the board version of easy right or just remember everybody that there also is the um, PC version and a MacBook version and even a web-based version of easy right 6 if you just google that it will come up as the first option you can download it for free and play with easy right today um, it's uh, the older boards don't quite have the same um, Technology is the O4s, but you're only missing about 10% of what the other boards could do or can do right now. Right. So basically, everything that our customers love about their Easy Write is available with the O4. The only difference is now the the Google integrated capabilities. Correct. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Perfect. Um, we have somebody who's talking about some of the really cool Easy Write fe features, including the scoreboard and timer to help hold competitions during class. Thank you, Austin, or May for that one. Um, um, they're asking, no, uh, we kind of already answered this one. We had another question about, will there be a software update? We, Like we said, what Ryan mentioned a minute ago, um, there's not a software update that can be done because it's based around the chipsets. It's like, um, I put an example in the chat, it's like your cell phone. You might have um, an iPhone 15 or whatever, and when the 17 comes out, it has a faster processor and maybe a better camera and things that affect. There's no way to update that capability of the newer phone on the current phone. You just have to go out and get something different if you want those capabilities, unless your phone starts really having problems. Um, with the boards that we currently have out there that don't have the Google integrated directly into the hardware, um, there are ways around it that you can make those uh, features accessible with either a Chromebox or an OPS or something like that that would give you access to um, the Play Store and to other apps. <clears throat> um, we had another question. What are, the, what are some of the best practices for integrating Google EDLA certified boards into existing educational workflows to maximize their effectiveness? Oh, well, if, if it kind of depends the environment that we're coming from. If you're coming from an environment with no boards at all, um, or if you're coming from an environment with uh, older boards or different, you know, if you're transitioning from a, a different manufacturer to BenQ, there's a lot that can be, um, there's a lot that can be done. Um, if you're, if you're moving directly to BenQ from anywhere else, then you're going to really like the availability of setting the boards up in the back end as far as uh, you know the teachers if they have a problem they the, the back end management can see it they can actually restart the board remotely um, and if you are going to be getting a new BenQ board the best way is to uh, go through one of our free intro trainings that we offer so if you have a bunch of teachers that want to just get their hands you know get their feet wet get their hands on the board <clears throat> we can do a uh, a uh, basic training that does intro and show you some basic some good tips and tricks and then if we want to get more advanced with uh, the teacher workflow and how to build lessons we do have a actual PD sessions where someone can come on site and do full training uh, and make you a certified BenQ user. Correct. I also think in that one um, I think the other really nice thing about whether it's a Google certified board or a regular one of our previous boards is that our boards are pretty much agnostic. They're going to meet the teacher where they're at so that they can teach their way. Um, it will allow them whatever, like whatever software, whether it's a LMS or whatever, you can still access that through the board. And it just expounds upon the capabilities of collaboration with your students in the classroom. As you saw in, um, in the PowerPoint portion, you can share your screen with your students through EasyWrite. 
Um, you can allow them to cast to the board. There's a ton of great functionality that comes with the board that would help um, ex ex existing workflows for your um, teachers to just expand into like what is next gen tech. So, um, <clears throat> but we want to make it where that's something that they can easily step into and be comfortable with. So we try to make it as close to what they're currently using, which is a ton of new features so that as they get ramped up with the board, they will feel more comfortable and start doing a little of their own digging to find out what other features they could <clears throat> utilize for their classes to make things more intriguing and more exciting for the students. Um, Marilyn said, we ordered a few RM04s and RP04s in our district and they're, um, as they're contemplating transitioning from one of our competitors, um, they're having difficulty finding someone to provide remote training. As Ryan just mentioned, Ryan, you want to go into that? Uh, yeah, I, so we have, <clears throat> you know, the video you saw of Francisco is our studio. We do a lot of the trainings in. Um, if you uh, if you can message us later on, um, uh, we can get a time set up to where we can do the remote trainings and uh, just need some basic info from you. We can uh, get that set up here in the studio, just a quick little 45 to one hour session. Um, it'll answer a ton of questions for you. That's why we that's why we offer that for everyone. So please. Um, Let's get your info. Uh, if you can message that to us real quick, and we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll set that up for you. Wonderful, Marilyn. We'll have somebody follow up with you after this uh, webinar. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, we had another question. Hang on a second. I'm trying to scroll. There's so many of them. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about the issues we had with the audio. Some of you could hear it, and some of you could not. Uh, when the video started. Um, the audio will be available when we send the recording after this. So I apologize that you were kind of on quiet there for a couple of minutes while Francisco was showing the capabilities of the board, but we'll get you that information. I apologize. Uh, <clears throat> the, we had a question regarding Exxon. Um, is the Exxon license included at cost? Oh, right, no. we'll These boards don't actually have what's called Exxon. They have something called broadcast. Um, and they are, that is actually included with the price of the board. There's no license fee for that. So you can use the, the basic version for broadcasting with any of our boards, any model for forever and ever for free. Thank you. Um, uh, we already answered that question. What hardware and software requirements are necessary to fulfill, to fully utilize the functionalities of Google EDLA on the certified boards? Uh, well, all the hardware is built into the board. There's nothing that needs to be plugged into the side or the, you know, the back um, to use. It, this is custom built. Um, it has one of the fastest processors that's available right now. Um, so you don't have to worry about needing to buy hardware to run this. It, it actually just comes out of the box and then you just turn it on and it's ready to go with all of the EDLA, um, you know, uh, components that are necessary to run it. <clears throat> um, and yes, everything we showed, uh, we had a question asking, does all of the stuff that was shown also work on the RMO4? Um, as far as what we, what we uh, showed, Brian, is that correct? Yes, all the functionality is the same. It's just a slightly slightly slower board and it just doesn't have a pin tray. But other than that, it, it works the same way. Correct. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, and then we had beyond Google Workspace, are there any unique features or functionality specific to BenQ boards that enhance the teaching and learning experience from Dale? Yeah, so one thing we didn't actually dive into was how um, we have our AMS system that has uh, the logins individually for each teacher. So that goes from every single board in your entire campus They can you can log into. And that, then you can connect your Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive to that login and bring in all kinds of different templates and backgrounds and all of your, um, uh, all the stuff that's in Google Drive into the EasyWrite whiteboarding um, uh, software. So you're you're bringing your stuff with you to to have a, a lesson in the library, for instance. So that's something that's a little bit different. <clears throat> yep. Um, also, with the new boards, you um, the boards can hold a certain number of 
personas. So like if you have multiple teachers who are in your classroom logging in with their NFC card or logging in with the QR code or whatever, you can have multiple personas on there and it'll keep that information. It won't be accessible unless somebody logs in, but it'll keep that for the 10 people who are most active on the board. So if you have three teachers who are sharing a room, you don't have to go back and reload everything when somebody taps in. It doesn't have that like slight delay. Um, it's just immediately accessible. <clears throat> we had another question from Robert. Does your board access the Android mobile app store and install apps? Uh, yeah, well, it's basically it, it, all the apps that it recognizes in the store, it sees it as the tablet based apps. So yes, it's not like the, it's not like the um, something on a Chromebook. It's actually like a giant tablet and that's what it recognizes and pulls down. Okay, um, and then are, are there other voices you can select when you're using the text-to-speech? That's a question uh, I've not run across so far. That's a really good one, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, so I don't think it, there's actually other tech, uh, other voices, but you can change the language that it reads it out in. So if you do have um, Spanish words, you can actually change the language accents to that or, you know, Mandarin or French or whatnot. You can change that, but not the actual sound of the voice. Sorry about that. We'll look into it. Okay. Thank you. That's interesting. <clears throat> um, we have uh, uh, Larissa who says she's new to the BenQ boards. Are you able to wirelessly connect to them to share screens? Uh, yes, yeah, so it does have uh, something called InstaShare built into every single board um, out of the box. So you can natively cast with Miracast, AirPlay, uh, Chromecast. And if you do download the InstaShare 2 app on your PC or MacBook, you can actually cast to the board and wirelessly touch back and control your PC. So you don't have to actually connect it with cables anymore. So it's a, probably our number one thing besides uh, easy write that people love using. Perfect. Um, we had another one that asked, uh, what is the efficacy of the ionizer? What standards are it built upon? Uh, well, it's based on basic uh, ionization of, of the air. Uh, it does do up to about a 1.5, or actually like 1.3 meters in front of the board in kind of a, uh, a triangle shape. Um, it's just very, very basic on, uh, you know, uh, you know, positively charging the ions of the air to make uh, to make them attract to dust that's floating around. And when they attract, it actually makes them heavy and they fall to the ground where they are basically vacuumed up or taken out of the air. Um, there's not it's not, there's not a certification for an ionizer. It's just a, um, you know, it's like when lightning strikes, it, it ionizes the air around. It kind of smells nice. It just basically just moves the dust out of the air. Um, and so the out of the box, the ionizers are not turned on. So if you're worried about that, you can actually turn them off and on from our device management, um, the back end. So if you don't want it, then you don't have to have it. But if you do want it, you can turn it on. Perfect. Um, we also had uh, Dawn ask, can we buy NFC touch and go cards from you? Yes, yeah. you can. Yeah, you can you can use. Um, right, and you can tell them about the other options. You can you can buy them from us, but there are other options that are available, like like commercially. Um, what are some of the other ones you've seen, Ryan? Uh, there's a few on Amazon. You do have to be a little careful. Uh, you, you do need a, a card reader to get the the number off, um, but there are a few. Um, you know, there's quite a lot actually, but there are a few that do work with our boards. Um, if you get them direct from us, then uh, it actually has the the number printed on it, so it's easy to input into our our system, um, and then we can send you like you know packs of twenty. We even have the new one that that shows our uh, nice cool little teal um, uh, design on them, so you know exactly which card it is if you have it in a bunch of you know a lanyard, a plastic lanyard with a bunch in there, not just a bunch of white cards. So we can right. we can get those for you. Um, we had someone, and I don't know if you know this answer, Ryan, asking with the translation capabilities, does it translate to Cherokee? Uh, let Francisco go and check that real quick. I'm not okay. sure. Um, okay, perfect. And then we also had, can the RP04 series handle demanding applications like video conferencing or real-time collaboration tools without lag? 
This is from yeah. John. Yes, so we've tested Teams, Zoom, uh, Google Meet with that, and it works just fine. Um, it's the only time it ever lags is the network. Otherwise, this board is incredible. Like, I'm very surprised how fast this board is compared to the, just the last generation. So, uh, yeah, it's it's blazing fast. Um, okay, perfect. And then does the RP04 series offer any accessibility features for diverse users? Um, accessibility features? Um, not sure exactly what we're looking for with accessibility. That's pretty wide. Um, the, uh, the only other thing I can think would be like the, the text to speech. Um, bringing it back, you know, within that there, I mean, if you do have the, the cool thing with the O4 is if you're using like an app right now, that's off of a, um, the Google play store, then you can download that and use it directly on the board. And you can even make those apps auto launch. So if it's like, you know, somebody that's visually impaired, it'll just auto launch the, uh, the app that you wanted to use whenever the board starts up for the day. <clears throat> Wonderful. Thank you. Um, Christopher asks, how does the pricing for the RP04 series compare to other interactive displays with similar features? Well, Mr. Christopher, ours are the only ones out there right now that are eDelay certified out of the box inside of the whole panel. Um, other manufacturers right now, they have to strap on a slot PC that plugs into the back or use a Chrome box that's been imaged with their um, with their own um you know, whatever EDLA certification on a, on a Chrome box. Nobody else out there right now has it built into the hardware of the board itself. Uh, so that, that being said, you might get a slightly cheaper price, but now you're having to buy two different products um, to, to just make it work properly. So um, we, uh, we can give you a competitive price sheet. I'm not sure who you are used to buying through or where you even are, but we, we service the whole of the US, so we can definitely get you in contact with one of our uh, resellers or sales reps and, uh, you, know, you know, so you can actually see the price sheet for yourself. Perfect. And then um, we had another question about what is the warranty period for the BenQ Board's RP04 series? Uh, if you're in education, uh, we have a three-year warranty that we're able to extend to five years. Um, just you know, just for the teacher's sake, it's about a five-year turnaround for for good technology. So that's what we have, and it's a white glove um, uh, warranty. That means that if something goes bad, we'll just ship out a new one for you. Whoever installed it before, we'll send them out. They'll swap it out, send the other one back, and you'll have a brand new board for you. Perfect. Um, we had another question. This one's from Edwin. Are there any plans from BenQ to integrate a Google EDLA capable Chrome box to a Gen 3 panel in any way that respects the NFC account switching? Uh, right now, no, uh, because you know that's why we wanted to build it on board with the new generation, like the like I was just saying with the other ones that can't do it, uh, because the NFC has to run through the through the board, of course, as you know. Um, that's that's a pretty hard ask because it's it's integrating two different technologies and two different manufacturers to do something on a cloud-based even I guess now fourth party <laughs> that 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 would uh, that would have to run through. But you know we we do we do have expectations to possibly get Chrome boxes by the end of the year, um, but we're we're still kind of to be determined. Um, what that's going to really look like and for how, what kind of integration it's really going to have. Okay, thank you. Um, we had a question, how has your perspective on the board evolved over your career? Um, well, I've been here for almost five years now. I've seen a lot of the uh, a lot of the boards coming in and out. I've seen the competitors. Um, I've seen a lot of people come and go actually uh, when it comes to different manufacturers. And you know, the the, the top two uh, manufacturers right now are actually doing things that are trying to copy us, which is really great. So we're actually growing while their market shares are going down. Um, so I've seen I've seen all of it, <laughs> all kinds of different changes, and I'm kind of happy to be at BenQ. 
because we have people actually actively updating our boards in the back end. I just had a call with our headquarters in Taiwan over this morning. They stayed up late because they're trying to solve this random little uh, little request from an end user. So we're actively, you know, moving and shuffling and making things optimized all the time. So that keeps it interesting. We know that you know that there's a back end support system for us and for everybody globally that that makes sure that things go smoothly and new stuff works properly. Perfect. Um, uh, we had another question. Um, Steph is asking about who do we contact? Steph, I'm going to give you an email address where you can um, shoot me an email and we will uh, get somebody to follow up with you regarding a training. Um, <clears throat> did, uh, did we happen to find out, uh, Francisco, about the translation from Cherokee? It does not do translation to Cherokee, but we can put that, like I said, we can put that on our, um, we can put that on our wish list. It's actually pretty big out in Arizona, you know, I've heard. Right. Uh, we had somebody in the room here that just, that just also piped up and said, um, you know, what the boards can translate, it's whatever Google can currently translate because it's the Google integration that's allowing for the translation. But we can see if our team can help on on the back end. So we'll put a request into HQ and see if that's something that they can help to um, drive forward for us. Um, um, May also asks if it has power saving features to the monitor and reduce energy consumption, save costs, and improve sustainability without compromising performance. How do you know it's true? Uh, like to convince me that it's better than the other products out there. Um, May, I would say um, we have a lot of, we have a white paper that can talk about the, like this, the savings and costs and things like that. And the fact that we're trying, the company's trying to use like sustainable or recycled materials for the, the way they make the boards. Um, but the best way to see the difference between our board and some of the other boards that are out there in the market is just to come by and meet us at a show or reach out and we can request a demo and put your hands on the product. Um, and we're more than happy to arrange demos for anyone who's interested. We can reach out to your local sales rep. Um, but really, once you get a chance to put hands on the board and see some of the difference in capabilities, um, I think you're going to be convinced. Um, I, there's nothing we can say that's going to convince you in this meeting, but everyone that we've talked to at the trade shows that Medea was telling you about earlier, they were so impressed by the capabilities of the board, the, um, the, the ease of use. The fact that it works with all platforms, PC, Mac, Chrome, whatever. Um, so, yeah, if you would like to request a demo, we can absolutely arrange something for you. Or if you let us know where you're located, we can um, let you know what local shows we're going to be at here shortly. And uh, you can come by and visit us at one of the local shows if you'd like to make it a little bit more casual. Um, we have another question. Does the board have limit to its connections, like multiple uses? uses? No. Um, as I mentioned with the NFC capability, um, it does remember a certain number of personas, but you can't access those personas without the login. But you can have 100 people log into the board and it, it would use it would be able to access all of their information if your IT team has built the account management portion and the uh, on the back end of the device. So um, you can use multiple users. Am I correct in that, Ryan? Yes. Yes, thank you. Um, what are the available after sales support options in case of any technical issues? Dale, that's a great question. Uh, Ryan? Yeah, so, uh, you know, the first line is uh, you can call uh, whoever you bought it from first. Um, sometimes sometimes things don't, you know, properly ship or it was, you know, actually damaged in transit. That's an easy one. If there's, um, you know, some other technical things, then uh, the the uh, the reseller whoever you bought it from can get you in contact with us like my team for instance and we can do uh, over the phone troubleshooting we usually figure things out pretty quick um, and uh, you know if we don't figure it out then we'll, we can follow back with those you know type of problems but um, we're uh, I might just be boastful but we are pretty darn good at figuring out our problems and helping people over the phone with uh, you know the Google integration. If we need to get people inside of your inside of your domain to uh, 
to be in the Benki domain pretty quick. Um, if there's some hardware problems, I can even send um, some update uh, files uh, over the air and you can update them directly on your board to uh, to get the board back up and running if there's something that was down, for instance. So uh, you're not lacking with any, with any support there. Perfect. We also have our TSC team that's available via phone to troubleshoot if it's something like something quick. Um, so uh, that's also available. Um, we have another question. Are there any updates planned for the Google EDLA boards later in 2024? Um, as far as updates, that was a little vague. And there's always software updates that can be pushed via um, OTA. Um, but are, are you aware of anything, Ryan? You just got done talking with headquarters. Did you have any updates that you're hearing from them? Uh, well, we we are always pushing out firmware updates on every version of our board. It's about every three to four months apart. So we are keeping up with all of the Google security. We're also, um, if we find bugs, it's how we get to squash them and actually add new features to the board. We don't really change it too much, but we do keep up with uh, making sure that the boards are up to date. And that's something also that your IT team can push out remotely um, to all your, all the boards in your in your entire district if they want to at one time. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay, and Tiffany, we're gonna we're gonna follow up with headquarters regarding your questions regarding um, uh, non-native speakers for your Cherokee immersion students that are at your school. And as soon as we get an answer, we will have somebody follow up with you. Thank you so much for the questions. I think I got to all of them. Um, I'll let Medea close us off then. Thank you guys. All right, thanks for the awesome questions. Uh, we had some really great ones. I hope it helped everyone who was attending the call um, who hadn't thought about these questions and able to get additional information to help you decide um, BenQ is the way to go. Um, anyways, uh, we, will, um, we will go ahead and end the session for today. Um, as a recap, everything, uh, the slide deck, the recording for this webinar, the video that we had difficulty, we do apologize for that, that all of that will be provided in a follow-up email where you can download and um, uh, rewatch the, uh, the webinar as well. So um, keep an eye out for that. We will also announce our um, giveaway, three Amazon giveaway uh, cards uh, via email to our winners as well later this week. So uh, stay tuned and we will see you back next month. Thanks and have a great day.